It's that time of the year when you don't really get to see your seniors around much. Do you know why? Because their final term has come to an end and while many of them are preparing for their placements, majority of them are suiting up for their higher education. Even some of your classmates might be preparing for their higher education as well. In fact, if you listen closely, you might even hear some of them speak in the GRE language. Do you also want to participate in the master's race? But you feel a little left behind on information? Don't worry, because we've got you covered. We're going to take you through everything that's essential for your MS Dream in this video. So don't move from your seats as we cover them all in just minutes. Also, if you stick around till the end, we have an exclusive giveaway for you. So stay tuned. My name is Donna David and I'm a GRE and admissions expert here at GRE Edge. Today, I'm going to walk you through the gateway of your MS Dream. First things first. You need to make up your mind on two things. Which MS course you want to specialize in and which country is the best fit for your field of interest. Let's start with choosing the courses. An MS program is more like an exclusive elective. It should be an area that you're interested in or you have future plans for research. For example, computer science has about 20 specializations. Some famous ones being machine learning, artificial intelligence, data science, etc. Now, if you take up electrical and electronics, some in-demand specializations include VLSI, integrated circuits, embedded systems, communications, etc. Coming to mechanical, some of the top specializations include automotive, computational fluid mechanics, MEMS, etc. Now, did your ears perk up when you heard any of these specializations? Then check out our exclusive playlist where we have some videos on top MS specializations. Now for the follow-up question. What destination to pursue an MS from? Have you heard of the Silicon Valley? Some of the world's top computers and electronics companies have their headquarters nestled in Silicon Valley. Just like Silicon Valley, there are certain regions or countries that are very popular for various streams of engineering. This categorization is based on the number of universities and industries that flourish in that area. When it comes to the US, Pennsylvania, California and New York are the three big giants when it comes to computer science, electrical and electronics. You can see some of the top universities on the side. And the companies? Oh god, there are way too many options. Google, Amazon, Facebook, Apple, Adobe and numerous startups. If you choose mechanical engineering, then you need to shift your focus towards the northeastern states of Michigan, Minnesota, Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, etc. That house some of the premium companies like Ford, General Motors, Boeing, and GE Aviation. Air Nautical guys, I hope you're listening. For civil and architecture, you have the scenic states of New York, Texas, California, and Illinois. That house some prestigious universities like UTD, Cornell, Columbia, and Texas A&M University. Washington, Oregon, and New York being famous for having reputed universities like Harvard, Princeton, and Washington are home ground for political science. Let's go further up north. No, even further. The Great White North of Canada. Canada is popular for fields like computer science, renewable energy, and mining. For example, the state of Ontario is the tech hub of the country, while Alberta, is the largest oil and gas producer of the country. So mining and petroleum engineering are definitely best here. And lastly, Quebec is famous for aerospace and information technology. Some of the top universities in and around these locations include University of British Columbia, University of Waterloo, McGill University, University of Toronto, and York University. Now for the country of perfection, peers, and discipline. Germany. It's the wonderland for all mechanical and automotive aspirants. Home to companies like BMW, Mercedes, Audi and Bosch. Germany is the playground for top companies and universities. RWTH, TU Munich, TU Chemnitz and University of Stuttgart are some of the best universities in Germany. With companies like SAP and Siemens on its map, Germany also proves its expertise in other domains of engineering. Choosing the right place for your MS from this global platter could be a little overwhelming. Which is why we recommend that you shortlist universities and countries based on certain factors like 
the university rankings of the department that you're targeting, the research interests of that particular university, and of course the top companies and recruiters. Since 4 out of 5 MS aspirants have US on their target list, let's dig a little deeper. You may have heard of your seniors getting to University of Texas, Arizona State University, Carnegie Mellon, etc. But how often have you heard of someone cracking an admit from MIT, Stanford, Harvard, etc? That's because not everybody had the ideal admission timeline, something which you're gonna get in this video. Before you know the game plan, you need to know your end goal, which in this case are the university deadlines. The fall deadlines for most of the top universities start from mid of November all the way until the month of January. But you need to get started on your application to be ready by October because of a little something called priority deadlines. Universities have priority deadlines and they encourage applicants to apply by this deadline as this will increase your chances for scholarship or financial aid. So first up on our itinerary is the GRE. Start preparing for your GRE from the mid of January and target at least a 320 on your GRE. Don't forget to learn at least 40 to 50 words per day while you spend about 1 to 2 hours learning concepts for GRE. Also start your IELTS or TOEFL preparation simultaneously as most of the universities have an English proficiency test score as a mandatory requirement. Also, a good IELTS or TOEFL score can put you in good light during your visa interview and also earn you a teaching assistantship during your MS. After at least 3 months of preparation, take your GRE and your TOEFL or IELTS by the month of April. In the month of May, start researching on courses in your field of interest. You can look up university websites, talk to professors or your seniors and finalize on your specialization. By the end of May, shortlist universities in categories like safe, achievable and ambitious based on your GRE score and profile. Selecting the right universities can actually increase your admission rate. Want to know more about how to shortlist universities? We have a little something for you at the end of this video. Work on understanding what elements you'd like to include in your statement of purpose and also get started on a rough draft from the beginning of June. Also shortlist people from whom you'd like to take a letter of recommendation and allocate adequate time to review and make changes. Collect transcripts from college based on university requirements by the end of June. Make sure you have all the documents based on the checklist. Review and recheck to ensure you haven't missed out on even the minute details. Check the university websites to understand when and how to upload documents and get it done by the end of September. To help you understand each and every admission requirement in detail, We've put together an exclusive MS bundle that contains ebooks covering all the different aspects of your MS journey. And that brings us to the end of this video. I'm pretty sure I've answered a lot of questions, but at the same time, you may have some new ones. We'll be covering all of that in our upcoming videos. But if you are keen on getting it clarified right away, then click on the link in the description to schedule a call with one of our admissions experts. For more detailed information on specific GRE topics, I'd recommend you take a tour of our channel. And subscribe now if you haven't and hit that bell icon to get notified each time we upload some fresh cut content. Until next time, this is Donna David signing off.